This isn't our first country property. We've done a few other farms in the area, but there's something really special about this property and the building itself. It's a beautiful old stone house. A lot of the original architectural details, the old wide board pine floors, amazing moldings around the windows, big huge high baseboards. This is a newer part of the structure, so we were really true to a lot of those details, but brought in a slightly kind of updated country to the space. So when you enter the house from the front door, it's got this beautiful staircase up to the second floor with an old pine banister. We added a runner just to be practical and functional. And then it's just a nice long hallway right into the kitchen, which we flanked with some beautiful old antique botanical prints. And then you come into this sort of slightly more modern country space, which is the kitchen, mudroom, laundry combination. The kitchen dining space before we renovated was a really dysfunctional space. And so we opened up the kitchen and put in this nice big island. There's nice four foot clearance between the range wall and the island. So it's a little bit more generous. It also creates a nice differentiation between the dining part of the room and the working part of the kitchen. The fireplace is fabulous, old stone fireplace. It adds a wonderful texture into the space as well, which I think is complemented nicely with the cabinetry color. When we picked the cabinetry color, we were nodding to the color of the mortar in the fireplace to sort of tie it all together. So we've got some other antiques that we've incorporated into the room. We brought them in to sort of break up the, all the built-in cabinetry and soften it and give more of that country feel, old antiques, but also really functional. So we've got the microwave is hidden inside the cabinet over there next to the fireplace because both myself and the homeowner were very aligned in our preference to have microwaves out of sight. All of the napkins, table linens, all live in this little cabinet here by the doorway. And her godmother had this beautiful piece over here. The open shelves where all the white dishes, it's just a beautiful place. It's very functional, they're right by the table. To set the table, it's really easy, but it's also just a beautiful focal point in the room. So the primary entrance into the building, particularly in the winter, is through the mudroom. It's fully insulated, it's got two nice big closets and some great shelving and drawers and it works really well for them. I couldn't be happier with how this project turned out. This kitchen and dining space is used every week, year round. So there's always a lot of bodies and big family dinners are had around the dining room table, just spending great quality time together and this area is now the hub of that quality time.